video i want to upgrade my ram and um, right now i have um right there 16 gb i bought another 32 gb um the reason i'm upgrading is that because i want to run some virtual machines and it's not sufficient enough it's just uh an error message pops up that you're running out of memory so i want to upgrade so i can run all the virtual machines the re and then i'm gonna install this one terabyte samsung as well uh, in the next video so what i want to do is i want to remove first these two and i want to install the 32 gb in this slot because these are 16 gb they are 8 gb a piece and then the other one is 16 gb a piece uh, according to the uh, manufacturer's uh, booklet the motherboard the first two uh, are access first so i want to make sure that i install i replace them with the better or bigger memory they're exactly the same speed um, so I'm replacing them so um, if it makes sense that the actual physical module uh, fills up first before it you know the any program can go towards the these sticks that right now are as primary so I'm gonna fill uh, all of them just uh, replacing them to the later ones and first one uh, on the motherboard itself I don't know if you can see that right there if you can see ddr1 41 4342 that's how you are supposed to install these sticks so if you can see here uh this right here and then this they are separate so and right kind of there is that where you're supposed to install so it's printed on the board and it's on your uh, booklet as well just consult it and then replace it so let's get going so it's really easy to remove the uh, ram all you have to do is just press this levers on the side and then do the on the other side as well And that popped up actually so it's very easy I'm gonna put that back so I know that these are the they're marked as well so I'm gonna just replace them with the bigger one first so it goes into this slot and you don't have to do anything just push it gently not so gently and the notches they catch up so it's not like that you can insert them any wrong way they will just go in slide in let's do the one on the third here let me see no it's not going on the yet right now so all you have to do is just push it enough that it goes in and the notches they catch up automatically now we what we're going to do is we're going to just replace the extra ones in there or the older one whatever you're going to call them and you see w when it's sitting there not pushed in it barely noticeable but once you <coughs> press them you click so you hear that click nice and easy and it's in okay let's do it for the final one if you can and for the final one it's gonna be tricky i'm gonna put the camera down all right so all four are then in i checked with the notches they are correctly connected so they're good it was just the cpu was a little bit in my way uh, to do it with one hand now uh, i will have about 48 gb on my system and i can have multiple virtual machines and do all the networking and other stuff that i like to do uh, 
Also, I want to run um, one Mac and Ubuntu for my son uh, to teach him a few things. Uh, they are exactly the same speed because with RAM, you can insert uh, two different uh, storage, like in terms of one, two sticks are 16 GB each, two sticks are 8 GB each. They will work fine. But uh, speed wise, they will go back to the 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 weakest link uh, applies here so if one is for example i think these are let me see i think they were 20 um they're 25 uh, 600 something like that so if i were to upgrade 2800 or something or 32 uh they will i i get nothing out of it because of this combination, the older sticks were 25, so the whole system will run only at 2500. So only upgrade if you are getting the brand new sticks and you're not mixing them. Don't get me wrong, DDR4 you can, you cannot mix the with DDR3, but speed wise the same, uh, you can do that. Like if it is it is DDR4, you can mix different speed, mix it different sizes. If it's DDR3, you can do the same. So these are all DDR4 stick, and they're exact the same speed. Now in the next video, we're gonna install the um, SSD, and in the final video, we'll boot up this computer and see if we it detects the moment of truth video. All right, so. I will see you in the next video.